time now for a look at your health and tonight we are talking about Halloween and the health hazards that can come with it from food, costumes and even the makeup to even haunted houses. Some hazards are well downright scary. Joining me now is Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD to talk about all this. Thank you for being here. Good to be here. Well, let's talk about the pirate booty. Of course, the uh. candy that all the kids are after. We need to be careful of what the candy contains. Yes, and now Everyone doesn't have an allergy, but we know that some children have allergies to, let's say, peanuts. Mm -hmm. And so you have to make sure if your child has an allergy to peanuts that there's no peanuts in the candy. And when you have these prepackaged candies, you sort of never get what the ingredients are. Now, as a mom and a dad, we know that we should give our kids something to eat before they go trick-or-treating. And then when they come home, drop it all out and let's look at it together to make sure that they're getting the right type of candy. Yeah, and we've also trained our kids that we have to check the candy before they can take a bite. And we had some of those allergies from peanuts to soy to eggs or milk. Those are things that may not be listed on the label as Dr. G just said, so be sure to consider that. Let's talk about when they're all dressed up because I remember hearing back in the day about, well, this kind of material is actually flammable, so don't wear that. Yes. But you said there's other things to consider. Yes, some are easy and some are a little disgusting. Now, you know, Americans will spend over a billion dollars a year just on Halloween costumes for kids. But if you do have costumes that have been sitting in the closet or the attic for a year or more, they could, could actually contain dust mites. And dust mites are going to give perhaps allergic reactions on the skin. But in children with asthma or sensitivity mm -hmm. to breathing, you can get an asthmatic attack. The other thing is nickel. Nickel's contained in a lot of costume jewelry and even some uh, class on the costume. About 4% of all children will have an allergy to nickel, and they'll get like a little rash mm -hmm. from it. And then finally is latex. Many of the costumes, especially the Batman costumes and superhero costumes, can contain latex. And a few percent of, of kids are allergic or sensitive to latex. And you say you're better off also just raiding mom's makeup bag, perhaps, than going and getting some of that fake stuff to put it, on it your really face. It really is. It turns out that the fake or Halloween makeup mm -hmm. can contain things like nickel, and other ingredients that you can develop an allergic reaction to, or if you're an older teenager, actually acne, it can clog your pores. So if you're doing makeup, you know, it's time mom can share a little bit of her nice makeup <laughs> with you. Well, and you mentioned um, allergies. You suggest uh, parents actually kind of bring a little bit of a, not necessarily a first aid kit with them, but be armed with some solutions to potential problems. Well, especially if your child has an allergy to milk and soy and different types of uh, peanuts or or wheat, make sure you have an EpiPen in the house. And if the EpiPen is just in the house, and that's of course you give a shot if the kid's having a reaction, take it with you when you're walking your child around the neighborhood. Again, the most important thing is you don't know really what's in those wrapped candies, so you have to be pretty careful. Yeah, and even be careful in the haunted houses with the fog machines and all that. You say a lot of accidents happen there. It really does. You know, fog machines, it's not just seawater fog or fog that Aloha is going to tell us about. They're actually made with chemicals. And again, kids with asthma, kids with sensitivity to breathing can get a reaction from the fog machines. That's really interesting because I would not have thought that. <laughs> well, I mean, seriously, I often think, well, it must yeah. be just dried ice. That's okay. No, it's not. Something there are consider. actually chemicals in it. So we can have a wonderful time. We, par As parents, we don't have to be scared as long as we're safe with our kids. Yeah, and you might want to wear reflective clothing or even have a flashlight. As you were saying, Aloha just reporting there might be some fog. So that's something to make sure you're visible to traffic as well. Dr. G, happy Halloween. Uh, you too. Always good to see you. Yeah, I have a, a Dustin Pedroia of the Red Sox <laughs> and, a, and a Franken girl. What's your son going to be? Um, he's going to be a ninja. <laughs> so look out for those, Lauren. <laughs> All right.